Welcome to Dirty Secrets of Massage. I am your host, Ava, and I'll be telling you the dirty truth about the massage therapy industry, different clients I encounter, and all things massage. <clears throat> Please send any topic requests or questions to Dirty Secrets of Massage at yahoo.com. The client from hell. At 5.45, the client checked in and stated that she'd like a full body massage, 120 minutes, which is two hours, with heavy focus on neck and upper back. She specifically asked for medium pressure and further stated she is in a lot of chronic pain, but agreed for full body. <clears throat> 5.50 p.m. after the opening of the session, supine, which means she's lying on her back, face up, Hot towels were placed on both feet and covered with a dry towel to hold in heat. No complaints at this time. Client asked for deep pressure on both forearms, running linear up the forearm on both sides. She still seems satisfied at this point. At approximately 6.05, the client was turned over to begin work on her back. It was difficult to reach her neck due to her hair and I didn't want to touch her scalp as she specifically asked me not to. For the next 20 minutes, she received a total of 20, uh, excuse me, a total of 40 minutes, by the way. The client complained with every body part, consistently asking for deeper pressure, which by now was going against what she asked for or scheduled for. The request kept getting switched up every one to three minutes, and I finally stopped her leg because her language was getting insulting and out of boundaries that I am comfortable with. She then began to ask who else is here, ask for knuckles, forearms, and more deeper pressure. This request, along with insulting comments, bringing discredit to training and licensing, I asked her to please get dressed and rebook with someone else because I did what she asked, what is in my scope of practice, and she still wasn't satisfied. This was the best solution at the time. At approximately 6.30, the client was checked out and rescheduled for someone else and was not charged. I would ask to please not schedule this person with me again. Thank you. Okay, so that person was a 36-year-old white female and she worked in the medical field and she was a complete fucking cunt. I'm not even joking. She came in with an attitude. She was already pissed off, probably because she wasn't feeling good. She wanted to see another therapist that wasn't there or she was already off and she was asking for different techniques. Now, um, I don't expect the average person to know what a Swedish massage is or the difference between techniques and tools. An elbow is not a technique. An elbow is a tool. A forearm is a tool. Knuckles are a tool. Now, whether or not I choose to use those knuckles on you is a whole nother talk show, right? And whether I choose to use those knuckles and knock your teeth out is another show. So, do you want... Well, what do you want? What do you want? You know, and this lady was, I like more. Can you get, go deeper? Or she didn't. She was very careful not to use the word deep because she did not pay for deep. She's paying for Swedish. Deep it would have been an extra twenty. Now with her position in the field, I would think that she could afford an extra twenty bucks. But like somebody else said, she's probably up to her eyeballs in debt still from from school debt and you know, getting herself on the road of, of whatever it is that she's doing. I can completely understand that. But then maybe you need to book and wait till the therapist that you want comes in because anybody else that touches you, you're not going to like it. And so then she superly in, insulted me and said, do you know any other techniques besides rubbing? Really? Rubbing? So my thumb and your shoulder blade, under your shoulder blade, isn't that's not doing it for you. You'd rather have an elbow or a knuckle or, you know, more more firmer pressure. There's no firmer pressure after firm. It goes from firm to deep, you dumb fucking bitch. Okay, so there's that. And you'll have to excuse my language. I've had a rough week. And if you go back and listen to the porch pirate, you'll see why. And so after a while, I was like, this lady, I even cracked a few jokes on the way to the room. You know, it's a Friday, what a good idea to have a two-hour massage. You're the smartest person in the spa for booking like that, so nice. Get in there, she was a complete fucking bitch. And I'm like, you know what, we're not doing this. You're not gonna lay on this table and insult me, insult my training, and insult my license right in front of my face. 
I have way more. I didn't even go into my experience. I just said, you're not going to insult me. What you're asking for is out of my scope of practice, and it's definitely not what you asked for. I can go to the desk and, and tell them that you want deep tissue, and if you would like, oh, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Okay, so why not? That's what you're asking me for. So would you rather me give you deep tissue now and go to the desk and you pay for it, or I go to the desk now and tell them? Because she's like, oh, no, no, no. I just you know, want different techniques, and I'm like, well, I'm not going to sit here and continue to educate you on what a technique is and what a tool is, the difference between a technique and a tool. So what's going to happen right now is you're going to get dressed and go check out, and I'm leaving. This session is over. The session is now over. You're going to get up and get dressed and go out and check out and book with somebody else because I'm not putting up with this, and I walked out. Went to the desk closed the front door to the office and was like, mm. and I guess she was really nice on her way out. And by the way, what I just read you was my notes for her file. And not only that, but somebody went in and edited what I had actually written. So what I actually wrote wasn't that. It was, there was more to it that I know that I put in there. And I emailed it to myself and I can't find it. So like it went to the junk box somewhere maybe. So... It, it, the only thing else that was in there was just that she was she kept requesting another the other therapist and then you know she asked if anybody else was there that evening and I was like you can go check out see you later so that was the end of her I got paid for 30 minutes of it she got a 40 minute session which is still 10 minutes less than an hour a normal hour session so um, she got what she deserved and she can go fuck herself but yeah that was a client from hell and I've never had to kick a female out before. I've had, you know, men give me a hard time before, as we all know. But I've never had to flat out kick a woman out. Now, I have had to terminate um, care for somebody that never even, never even came in. I had to terminate care for somebody um, before they... I kicked them off the book before they even booked. I kicked them off the books before they even booked because she was such a fucking bitch. And that lady was the Mary Kay lady. Ugh. She had the pink Cadillac and everything. She was trying to get me to come in at 6.30. Oh, I would have to be in at 6.30 to set up properly. I would have to come in at 6.30 on a Saturday to cater to her, her sister who was in town and going out of town and needed to be in by 7.30 to get catch her flight. And I, fuck you. Fuck you, Stacy. Stacy, I believe was her name. And, um... I think it was Stacy. Yeah, Stacy, the Mary Kay lady. But anyway, she was a fucking bitch. But she never even got on my books. And and not only that, but she passed around all my information to um, like one of those pyramid network groups. Yeah, that was completely unfucking cool. And I'm in the middle of session getting phone calls and emails from people that I've never met about their network group. And um, yeah, go fuck yourself. So. That was that, and moving on, my trash crew got homemade buttermilk cinnamon buns, but I don't make them with cinnamon, I make them with pumpkin spice, and today I made them finger sandwiches. Actually, they're like quarter sandwiches, but the bread I use is kind of big, so it's really kind of almost like a half a sandwich for a quarter, and I made tuna fish, and I made turkey and cheese, and guess what? They got fresh lettuce out of my garden. Because certain people around here, like the porch pirate, want to take advantage of me and treat me like fucking shit. Well, guess what? I continue to feed the trash crew. And somewhere along the line, I'm missing a Gatorade out of my six-pack, and I didn't drink it. So I'm pretty sure I put two Gatorades in the cooler that he ran off with. But I only had three, so that means there's one missing. So I must have offered him a Gatorade when he was here at some point. So I'm just saying I noticed that I'm missing a Gatorade and I don't remember where I put it. But that's okay. That's okay. My trash crew is happy. And if I wanted to leave a dead body on the side of my curb, I bet they'd pick that up. Because they're well fed. I don't flash them or nothing like that. I'm just nice to them. And maybe somebody around here can take some lessons on how to treat other people because, you know... And don't ask me what happened at the checkout. Yes, the self-checkout almost got in a fight with the, with the actual checkout machine. But anyways, that was my client from hell. My next episode, I'm going to tell you a story about a different client. Um, 
and it's it's not a client from hell. It's kind of a sad story, but um, it has a happy ending. So, anyways, hope you have a great day.